What if I told you you could travel from Denmark to Austria by electric car and make it cheaper than flying in an airplane, but also use a lot less CO2? Recently, I drove from Copenhagen to Salzburg in Austria, and this is what I discovered along the way. So this is a 1,250 kilometers drive, and a great tip is to start the car from your phone. Most electric cars can be controlled by a smartphone. And when you are charging the car and you're using the climate control from your phone, preparing yourself for departure, you're not taking energy from the battery, you're taking it from the charger, which means you'll be still departing with 100%, which will increase the range on your car and the driving. So I am using the GPS in the car to find the charges because they are basically everywhere going through Europe and the car's GPS will optimize the route in terms of getting to the destination the quickest. There is something about not charging too often uh, but trying to get it as low as possible since the curve of charging often breaks in the beginning which means you'll charge the car a lot faster. I'll drive as far as I can get it down to maybe 5-10% and then charge up to maybe 40, 50, 60% and then charge a little bit more frequently, but that gives you the shortest stops. So I've reached my final destination 15 hours later. I've made a complete description of the cost of the amount of CO2 spent on the charging and tried to compare it with if I would have taken an airplane and flew down here, because obviously time-wise it would have gone a lot faster. But um, an interesting part for me was the cost. And we've been two people in the car, but if it would have been four, I mean, dividing it up, um, it would actually have been a lot cheaper taking the electric car and a pleasant ride. And now time for bed before a great week here in Austria. Thank you.